from qpp.cms.gov, click Sign In in the upper right-hand corner of the site. Then click the Register tab and scroll down the page to click the link to register for an account. The first step to creating an account is to provide your profile information. Please complete all of the fields that are required as indicated by the red asterisk. This includes your first and last name, date of birth, your email address, which you will be asked to confirm, as well as your home address. It's important that you provide your home address as this is needed to generate the remote identity proofing process through Experian. Once you've entered the city, state, and zip code, you will then be asked to provide your social security number. Again, this is required for the remote identity proofing process. So you've entered your social security number, you can agree to the terms and conditions. If you do not provide a social security number, you also have the option to initiate a manual proofing process. This process will require you to submit documentation to the quality payment program, such as government photo IDs and financial institution bills. Select Next. The second step is to create a user ID and password. The user ID that you create must be a minimum of five characters and a maximum of 100 characters, including both alphanumeric characters and symbols. Your password must be a minimum of 12 characters and include the following, a lowercase letter, an uppercase letter, a number from zero to nine, and a symbol. Please note that your password cannot contain your user ID, your first or last name, or the following special characters plus sign, parentheses, the greater than symbol, or less than symbol. Finally, you will select a challenge question and provide an answer. The challenge question and answer will be used if you need to reset your password. Select Next. If a user ID already exists, you will be prompted to re-enter a new, select a new user ID. The next step is to respond to the remote identity proofing questions generated by Experian based on the information that you provided in your profile information. Once you have answered the questions, You will select I'm not a robot and click Next. The final step is to set up a device for two-factor authentication. Click Login to complete setup. Enter your newly created user ID and password and agree to the conditions. Then select Login. Choose your device from the Device Type dropdown. SMX will send a text number um, to your phone so that you can enter it to log into the system. Click Send Code and enter the security number that is sent to your cell phone. The device that you set up for, for two-factor authentication will be used both for signing into HARP as well as to sign into the Quality Payment Program website. Submit. And now click Complete Setup. At this point, you can sign in to the Quality Payment Program. So
so that you can connect to an organization. The second step in the two-step process that will allow you to submit, view, and manage data for your organization. 